Howdy folks, CJ Curry here, back talking some more prize picks on this Flex Friday. Hope everybody out there's had a great week. Looking forward to the weekend, getting a little bit of rest and relaxation. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. I'm looking to add more subscribers to the channel. We're on our way to 23,000. I appreciate everybody who's already subscribed to the channel. And for those of you who might be here for the first time or returning, I'd appreciate if you left me a few likes. I mean, we're looking to go for more than 149.5 likes on this big NBA slate here on Friday. So I appreciate you in advance for hitting that like button. Now, today's video, I've got five picks four NBA full game picks, and one NBA first half only pick. So without further ado, guys, if you're not playing on prize picks yet, they're still doing a 100% instant deposit match on your first deposit all the way up to $100. Meaning if you've never played on prize picks before, if you've never made a deposit, the first time that you do, they're going to give you a dollar for every dollar you put in up to a hundred bucks. Now I've left a special link for you down in the description below for you to take advantage of this offer. Use code curry or that special link and get started playing on prize picks. It's daily fantasy made easy. And you know the NBA playoffs are right around the corner. It's a great time to jump in. All right, so let's run through these picks real quick. Uh, obviously, if you've watched any of my content in the past, we're looking for value. Value is the name of the game. We're looking for plus EV picks. And uh, I think I've found several of them in today's prize picks board. Starting with the first one, it's Io Desunmu of the Chicago Bulls. He's sitting at 19.5 points, rebounds, and assists. So if we head on over to one of my favorite tools here, the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, and this tool is one of my favorites because it does help us locate those positive expected value plays, those plus EV options on prize picks. It allows us to get in on these picks before they get bumped up, bumped down, or completely taken down from the prize picks board. So if you're looking for an awesome tool to get you that value before the value gets away, this is a must have tool. Left a link for you down in the description below. You'll save 25% off of your first month when you use code Curry or that special link. All right, looking at Desunmu here, 19.5 points, rebounds, and assists, 53.7% chance for him to go over this number. Of course, 53.7% is not a 100% chance or guarantee for him to go over. There's still risk involved, although we are finding a pretty significant edge here of nearly 4%, okay? He's at 19.5 on prize picks most books have them at 19.5 but FanDuel's got them at 20.5 and usually FanDuel is the first mover in the market they're the first ones to kind of start bumping lines up and in this case I think all these other sports books will join FanDuel and end up posting him at 20.5 points rebounds and assists so let's go ahead and take advantage of him while he's so low here at 19.5, while we're getting a, a discount, so to speak. And uh, if you take a look at Ayo Desunmu's numbers here, these are games played with Vucevic, DeRozan, Caruso, White, and without Levine, you can see that he's done a very good job of clearing 19.5 points, rebounds, and assists. 68% hit rate when those players are active and or inactive in Zach Levine's case. So 68% hit rate is fantastic. 22.8 points, rebounds, and assists per game. And he's going to be in a game against the New York Knicks tonight where it should stay close and competitive. And that's the kind of games we should be looking for as we reach the uh, home stretch of the NBA regular season. We don't want to take players from games that could potentially blow out. And uh, this one on paper, as of right now, looks to be a very tight spread, which is what we want to see. All right, so now that we know it's a plus EV play, the hit rates are looking pretty solid. Let's look for some projections, and we're going to use a couple different projection models because every projection model is just a little bit different from one model to the next. So let's use RotoWire in this case. They've got him projected for 23.1 points, rebounds, and assists. He's coming off a little bit of a down game. Great spot for him to potentially bounce back here, and I'm loving the projection of 23.1. But like I said, we're going to use a second projection just in case that first projection is out there in La La Land. We want to make sure that, hey, if we've got multiple projections, let's look at multiple projections. Why not? And in this case, he's projected for about 22 points, rebounds, and assists today. Again, the line is just 19.5. So for me, Dasumu, easy option for a more play. Moving us on to our second pick, it's De'Aaron Fox of the Sacramento Kings. He's going up against the Boston Celtics. Now, we're not sure who's going to be in or out for the Celtics as of this time. 
a couple of guys on the injury report, including Jalen Brown, one of their key contributors. But nonetheless, Boston is currently sitting at a 10 point favorite to beat the Sacramento Kings and Sacramento is going to be on the road and historically speaking this season De'Aaron Fox has not been very good at dropping dimes when playing away from Sacramento now is this a plus EV play of course of course it is guys that's all you should be playing on prize picks is mostly plus EV plays if we take a look here about a 53.3 percent chance that De'Aaron Fox is going to stay under six and a half assists today you see some of the sharpest sports books such as Pinnacle known as the uh, sharpest sports book out there they have them at minus 145 odds to go under. And so why would we want to go against one of the sharpest sports books in the land when we could go with it? And in this case, we will go with it. We will go under with De'Aaron Fox here and take the value that we're seeing. So taking a look at De'Aaron Fox here, we're looking at his games played on the road. Uh, overall, first and foremost, 5.7 assists per game this season, 37% hit rate. So 63% of the time, he actually stays under six and a half assists. But when you take a look at what he's done on the road this season, like I said, it gets really ugly, really fast. Eight out of 33 times, he has gone over six and a half assists. So about 76% of the time, he stays under six and a half assists when he's playing on the road. So you got to love what you're seeing here as far as the home and road splits for De'Aaron Fox in this assist prop. Now taking a look at his previous games against the Boston Celtics. This goes back to last season. Take that with a grain of salt. But he did play them one time this season back on December 20th. We only managed three assists. You can see the games that he's played against Boston. He's really struggled to rack up dimes, just two, three, and three, and some of his previous matchups against the tough and mighty Boston Celtics. As far as projections go, let's get you some of those because I know you guys love the projections, right? And yes, you do have to typically pay for these projection tools, but for the sake of making this content and because you and I are friends, I'm showing you some of these projections for free here. But if you want access to something like this Rotowire projection tool, there's a two day all access free trial waiting for you down in the description of today's video. So definitely check it out. No credit card required, of course. 5.5 projected assists for De'Aaron Fox. It puts him under by one whole assist, which is good enough for me. As far as uh, Fantasy Labs and Action Labs, they've got De'Aaron Fox at 6.2, so a lot closer to six assists than seven, and we want him to have six or fewer if we're thinking about taking the under. And in this case, I am thinking about taking the under. So back to the... Uh, Chicago Bulls, New York Knicks game for our next pick. DeMar DeRozan sitting at 3.5 rebounds going up against NYK. Again, DeMar DeRozan, one of these players who uh, can be a little hit or miss, especially when it comes to his rebounds. But we're hoping today that he hits because he's got almost a 54% chance to go over 3.5 rebounds. So four or more rebounds. And this ends up being a winning pick for us. So we like the, the fact that we have about a 4% edge over what is typically a 50-50 proposition. And so we should be thinking about possibly taking the over here on DeMar DeRozan. He could get bumped up to an even four rebounds by the time it's all said and done. Now DeRozan, as far as his hit rates go, uh, he's been kind of so-so. Like I said, hit or miss for the most part. But uh, let's run over to the projections real quick. And uh, we'll move this video along here. As far as DeRozan's projected rebounds, he's, uh, he's projecting quite nicely, actually. 4.8 rebounds going up against New York today. So 1.3 rebounds higher than where his line is today at 3.5. If we head on over here to Fantasy Labs and we type in DeRozan's name, you're going to once again see a very healthy rebound projection for DeMar at 4.7 boards on a line of 3.5. So for me... Yeah, I would be leaning over on DeMar DeRozan at three and a half rebounds. Now this next one, Jalen Duren of the Detroit Pistons. He's taking on the Memphis Grizzlies, okay? He's at 10.5 boards, and the Memphis Grizzlies, as far as rebounds given up to opposing centers over the last seven games, well, they've been very giving. They're giving up 17.2 rebounds per game. That's the fifth most or fifth highest rebound per game average over that seven-game span. So in terms of matchup, on paper, yes, this is a very good matchup. Now, is it a plus EV play? Well, we're going to go take a look at that right now. Jalen Duran did have his struggles the last time that the Pistons faced the Memphis Grizzlies. But in this case, today, it's a new day. And hopefully, Jalen Duran has his act together in what should be a close and competitive game. 
amongst two of the teams that are really tanking at this point in the season. They're uh, they're in a race to go to the bottom. They, they both want a really high draft pick. And Jalen Duran here at 10.5 rebounds, nonetheless, 54.5% chance that he's going to go over. That's a true odds or fair odds of minus 141, all right, which is spectacular. You don't see this kind of value every day. Now, this could get bumped. If it does, uh, no problem. Just leave it alone. Uh, if it gets bumped up to 11, I'd probably still take it. If it gets bumped up to 11.5, I start to get a little bit hesitant. But if you're getting it at 10.5 anywhere, uh, you should probably think about taking the over. Now, as far as projections go for Jalen Duran, he's got some good ones backing this number. And, uh, of course, we'll start with Roto-Wire first and foremost. They've got him at 11.6 projected rebounds, putting him over 10.5 by more than one whole rebound, which is what we want to see. As far as where he's at on Action Labs, we took a look at Duran there. He is projected for 12.5 rebounds, putting him two rebounds over the 10.5 number. As I mentioned, uh, he's had some struggles, but for the most part, overall this season, he's done a good job of collecting boards, 11.7 rebounds per game on average throughout the course of the season. And uh, he's had a couple of bad games. One of those games, he dealt with some sort of uh, a finger or thumb issue, I believe it was. So that kind of impacted his minutes in the last couple of games. You can see that his minutes were down, uh, especially in that game against, uh, was it Memphis? Let me look at the last five games real quick. Yeah, it was the game against Memphis where he hurt his thumb. You can see down here, um, maybe you can't. Let me put it right below my, my window here. All right, there you go. Only 5.1 minutes played against the Memphis Grizzlies. I expect him to play a lot closer to 25 to 30 minutes tonight. That 5.1, I believe, was due to an injury. So uh, don't be so scared that he went under against Memphis. He's done a pretty good job, historically speaking, against the Memphis Grizzlies in the past. He did have 11 boards against them back on uh, December 6th. So uh, there's still hope yet for, for Jalen Duran. So he would be a more option. Which brings us to our final play. It's Wendell Carter Jr. of the Orlando Magic, who he's had some very good success against the Charlotte Hornets in the past. But because this game is expected to blow out, there's a 12-point spread here. Orlando favored to win this game on the road against the Hornets. I'm looking at Wendell Carter Jr. as just a first half only option. So when we take a look at the first half only numbers here for Wendell Carter Jr., you can see that overall it doesn't look great, but it gets a lot better when you look at the more recent sample size. So we look at the last 30 games for Wendell Carter Jr., things start to perk up a little bit. 11.6 first half points, rebounds, and assists. That's only a 50% hit rate. But when we take a look at the games on the road here, especially the last like 10 to 12 games, he's hit 11 or more PRA in the first half in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 out of his last 14 games played on the road. He's had 11 or more first half points, rebounds, and assists. And one other thing that I want to bring to your attention is the fact that historically speaking against the Charlotte Hornets, he's done very well at 11 or more points, rebounds, and assists. In fact, over the last couple of years, he's hit 11 or more first half PRA in six out of six games. Now, more recently, 15 first half PRA back on March 5th and 12 first half PRA back on March 19th. So he's two for two this season. Even if you threw out everything from the past seasons, this season he is two for two against these Charlotte Hornets. So there's a lot to love here. Obviously, Charlotte, another one of those teams that has just not been very good at defending the center position. If you kind of take a look at what they've been giving up over the last seven games to opposing centers, over 30.5 points, over 15 rebounds, and over three and a half assists given up to the center spot. So Wendell Carter Jr. is definitely in a good spot. You can see I've already got that ticked for him to go for more than 11. But that's just some of the picks that I found today. Sorry the video was a little bit more long-winded, but I wanted to hit you with as much value as possible. Are you liking these picks? Are you liking these plays? Why or why not? Leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer any questions, comments, or concerns you have with any of the picks that I mentioned today. Once again, my name's CJ Curry. Get subscribed on your way out. Hit the like button on your way out, and we'll catch you very soon in another Prize Picks video. Peace.